Hello, in this video I will tell you how my dog treat dispenser works and a little bit how I made it. My first idea was this. But it didn't work because all the treats would push on the wheel and it wouldn't spin, it would get stuck. So I came up with this design. Over here, you have a flap that moves up and down by spinning a wheel that I will show you later. And then over here, you have a spring that makes the flap to return back and to hold all the treats up. Here I have these two slanted parts so all the treats will fall down, not get stuck. And then right over here, we have a window to see how much treats are left. And then a tray where all the treats would fall out. Right over here, we have this border so no treats fall outside. And then you have this good lid. And to move the flap, you spin this wheel. But you may be thinking that the flap will make the treats get stuck in between the, this part and the flap, but it's okay. I'll get them on the next time I need them. So that doesn't do anything bad to me. So how do you like it? This new design works great for me. Now, I will show you a bit how I made it. All the supplies needed for this project, I got them at Home Depot. So for the body, I got a small piece of plywood. Then for the rod that connects the wheel to the flap inside, I got this rod. Then for the window here, I got this clear plastic that you can get in Home Depot in the window aisle. And I just hot glue, glued it on from the inside. It holds good. Then for the springs to return the flap back, I use this four pack spring and I use the bigger one. Then to make the clear coat, I use this clear stain that you can also get at Home Depot paint aisle. And how we built it, we built the frame and then we put all the components inside. And then on the flap, we have this wooden piece. And then to that wooden piece, there's like a one by one inch rod that connects to here. And then we drill the whole hole inside of there and put this round rod inside. And that's how it works and everything holds together with very small nails. And then we got the door connected by screws. And then on this side, we have a screw that holds the flap. And that's basically it. Comment down below if you like this dog treat dispenser and rate it from one to 10. And I also forgot to tell you that any kind of treats work for it. 